Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC radio show, The Christian Business Connection. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. You know what I'm going to say, guys. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hey, are you rejoicing this morning? Are you glad in it? Let me tell you, this is a day that you have never seen. The blessings you are going to receive today, speak it into existence. Know that you're going to receive blessings today. Well, I can tell you one you've already received you woke up (laughs) hallelujah don't ever take it for granted you woke up this morning so many didn't so we give God the glory on this beautiful day Friends, we've got a great show as usual, as usual. I want to tell you, though, that the show is being brought today by Chocolate Boutique. We thank God for Chocolate Boutique. They are one of our great sponsors. If you need a personalized chocolate basket, chocolate bouquet, what do you need in chocolate? Well, we all need a lot in chocolate, okay? So call the Chocolate Boutique today at 314-649-8164. That's 314-649-8164, The Chocolate Boutique. And I encourage you to go to my website so you can see all of our other wonderful, wonderful sponsors. Thank you so much, sponsors, for supporting the CBC radio show and the Christian Business Connection. Well, friends, my guests today include Bishop Lawrence Nolan and Prophetess Alicia Tillman. They are with Servants for Christ Outreach Ministries. You see, we're going to be talking about the upcoming Victim to Victorious Deliverance Conference coming on June 3rd and 4th. That's a Friday and Saturday. And they're going to talk about that exciting of God conference. Can't wait. I'm going to be there. Hope to meet you there too. Also, we're going to talk this morning with Miss Veronica Logan. Her event is this evening. That's right, friends. VL Production presents the First Lady of God, Pastors and Evangelists, Hat Showcase and Fashion Show Gala. I'm going to be there 6 o'clock at the Jewel Box in Forest Park. Praise the Lord. I'll be receiving an award there and we're just going to have a great time. Veronica Logan is going to be on the program with us this morning talking about that event. And then also we have Bishop Prentice Thomas of Heirs of God, Celebration City Church. He's going to be here because we are counting down the days this coming Wednesday. It starts the You Are the Image of God Conference. So he's going to be talking about the speakers, the luncheons, the brunch. Oh, my goodness. So much is going to go on May 25th through the 29th. Don't miss my interview with Bishop Prentice Thomas. And then we're going to be speaking this morning with Mr. Miss Kimberly Ward of Kim's Herb and Detox Center. Let me tell you, what's going on over in Olivet is something that you need for your body. Let me tell you, you're going to be blessed by listening to her interview as well. And then, of course, you know, we have our healthy living tip from none other than our own Dr. Tebow, Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry. We're so blessed. She's going to be here talking giving us the healthy living tip. And I also want to just stop and say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who attended the evening of Synergy. You know, we had a great time, and I want you to stay tuned to our website so you can be abreast of all of our upcoming events. God is doing such great things with the Christian Business Connection. I don't want you to miss out on anything. Go to my website, thecbcradioshow.com. Also, friends, if you have a business or a ministry or you have an upcoming event, give me a call. We want to talk about it right here on the CBC radio show. The number to call is 314-270-2225. 314-270-2225. Now, stay with me because when we come back, we're going to be talking with Bishop Lawrence Nolan and Prophetess Alicia Tillman of Servants of Christ Outreach Ministries. I'll be right back.
Good morning, everybody. My name is Van Swat. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. Org. God bless. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. Thomas. To God be the glory. Good morning. This is Veronica Logan of VL Production. I would just like to invite everyone out to our show that's coming up on May the 22nd at the Jewel Box in Forest Park at 6 p.m. Anyone interested in coming to the dinner will be a $35 donation. Please come out and enjoy. For more tickets and information, please call 314-537-0239. And that's Miss Veronica Logan. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I tell you, we're so excited. We're so excited about the upcoming Victim to Victorious Conference that is being hosted by the Servants for Christ Outreach Ministries. We're so blessed this morning because we have Bishop Lawrence Nolan and Prophetess Alicia Tillman of Service in Christ. And they're going to give us more information on how we can be a part of what God is doing right there in Murfreesboro, Illinois. So I want to welcome to the CBC radio show, Bishop Lawrence Nolan and Prophetess Alicia Tillman. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, woman of God. How are you this morning? Well, you know what? I, I, can I take your question? I was going to ask you the question, but can I Please say Please go ahead. It? This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. That's how I'm doing. Y'all doing the same way? We are doing the same. We have that notion. And we're, we're so excited today. It, it seemed like morning and we know it's afternoon, but God has just given us the opportunity to be a part of your show today. And we just honor God and thank God in advance for what he's doing uh, by airways. And we just, we, we love you. We love the city of St. Louis and the surrounding areas. And it's an awesome opportunity to be with you today. Amen. It is. We give him the glory. Well, I tell you, the buzz around town, Bishop, is the how we got to be at the victim to victorious. I, I just love the title right there. Can, can we just pause at the title? My God, you, listen, you, you just you just open up a, a burst of energy there. Yeah. Before I get started, I, I, I have the awesome privilege to introduce the visionary for this, this, this conference slash deliverance service, uh, none other than uh, uh, Prophetess Alicia Tillman. She's here with me as well in the, in the studio. And this is something that God has uh, been giving us for the last year to do, and we've been in preparation, we've been in, and he's been giving us uh, and healing us and the delivering us from things yes. and getting us stable in areas so that we can help get others freed up. Amen. With no further with no further ado, me wasting time, because I know our time is limited, uh, I'm going I'm to let you and her talk and so that she can share and you can share, and I'm just going to jump and kind of get in where I fit in with it. <laughs> well, that's all right. Well, Prophetess, uh, you got to tell us, how was the vision? Tell us about the vision for this deliverance conference. Amen. Well, um, the Lord had begun to to speak to us um, uh, some few years ago. Um, it happened during uh, the, the end of 2013 when I ended up in a severe, severe um, incident where I had a fall and I was left temporarily paralyzed during that time. And I tell you what, I have received the miracle of God and when the Holy Spirit spoke to me and began to say from victim to victorious, I had no idea it would begin to be the birthing of something on this magnitude. Now, well, gonna... now, now I got to stop. I got to stop you because we can't stop you to give too much info. They got a yes. conference now. They yes. Uh, uh, woman of God, you know, as much as we want to share, there's limitations because there's some things that's got to be held over for the event. Right, right, right. Amen. <laughs> so don't give it all. all right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give, give, yes. Give, give us, so, give us enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
so we're, we're just excited. That began to open up the beginning of what God was actually saying. I tell you what, God miraculously healed me. I was diagnosed with degenerative disc disease along with um, other nerve damage and things that had happened to me during that fall. But woman of God, I began to stand on the word of God and, and the saints began to pray. And I'm telling you, I'm healed, delivered, and set free. Not only um, do I have no symptoms of that, I went yeah. from being temporarily in a wheelchair to uh, I'm able to run, jump, dance. Hmm. I'm able to function normally. And I, uh, God began to have me walk. I was up to walking three miles a day, <laughs> declaring victim to victorious. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, God has been so faithful yeah. Yeah. in his word. And that, that, that just began to open up the things. And God began to take it from a natural thing and begin to speak to me spiritually mm -hmm. and begin to tell me and, and, and take it back and say, now, I want to deal with this area in your life spiritually that you have a need to be healed and delivered and made whole. Oh, I tell you what, I'm just excited. Yes, <laughs> yes. And you know, uh, Bishop, this two-day conference, Deliverance Conference, you're going to kick it off on that Friday, June 3rd, uh, and lead us into June, into Saturday, June 4th. Tell us what we can expect uh, a little uh, bit woman of God, on uh, June 3rd. Friday, we are limiting that Friday to leaders only. Uh, if, if you operate in the leadership status, whether you're bishop, apostle, prophetess, uh, minister, it is limited to leaders. Reason being, is uh, God has given us uh, to allow for us to be able to come on common ground as leaders, uh, all seeking and desiring for areas in our life that we have a tendency to have to hide from the members. Hmm. And, and for us to be able to be free and to uh, be able to receive so that we can give. Yes. And, and many times as leaders, you know, I'm, I've, I've been a leader for many years, and sometimes we can't afford to let the sheep know when we wound it. We can't afford to let yeah. the sheep know when we hurt and when we, mm -hmm. you know, and we've, we've dealt with those things. But we're coming together on common ground so that we as leaders can uh, benefit and be free to, to, to open up and to allow ourselves to say, you know, I've been hurt, I've been wounded, I've been, I've been lied on, and 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 whatever else, and to to get the healing and the deliverance that we need without the sheep being uh, 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 standing back looking and 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 judging, and mm -hmm. without, you know what I'm saying, uh, with, with us just being them not being spectators over what God is trying to do with us. Because if your leaders are not getting healed, then it's impossible for the body to get it. That's right. Um, now, that's yeah. right. And so we're going to kick off that on Friday night uh, for the leaders, and that service starts at 7 p.m., Bishop? That's correct. That is correct, at 7 p.m. And then we go into Saturday. Tell us about Saturday. Saturday is is a is a day for everyone. Uh, that Saturday will begin with morning uh, uh, topics uh, such as uh, being delivered of, of pride, being delivered of uh, uh, child loss. You know, some people has, has went through miscarriages, being delivered of the, the sex drugs, uh, mm -hmm. healing from rejection, past church hurt, and, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, uh, spousal abuse, just, just uh, you know, homosexuality, mm -hmm. just whatever it is that, that you're struggling with, yeah. we will be able to, to deal with those things on an on a intimate level and, and, and allow for ourselves to, to that, that come in as victims to leave victorious. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, now, so. I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in in this morning, we are talking about the upcoming Victim to Victorious Deliverance Conference on Friday and Saturday, June 3rd and 4th, and that is going to be held at the Servants for Christ Outreach Ministries. Now, Bishop, give us the address and the phone number uh, to the church. Sure. It's going to be 1530 Illinois Avenue. That is in Murfreesboro, Illinois, 62966. Your, your Google Maps will bring you right to it. The phone number uh, for contact is going to be 618-565-5058. Also, since we're on the, the given information, email servants, the number four, Christ2008 
2004 at yahoo.com. There are tickets. If you go on that, uh, that we got a website there. If you go on that, you can get access to tickets in advance. Uh, we are we are not uh, everything is free, and and the only thing that that we are asking donations for is the t-shirt, which meals and all are included. So, to God be the glory, and and we're, we're just excited about what's what he's going to do through this. You know, it's not just a regular conference; it is a healed, delivered, and set free conference, and that is the direction that God has given us to go with it. We are excited because God has done the healing in us. God has delivered us, yes. set us free, and we're no longer victims. We are victorious. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, Bishop, I need to go back and pause on this on this uh, registration because it is truly yes. amazing what you are sowing into the people. You're only asking for a donation of fifteen dollars for a T-shirt, but that also includes registration and brunch. I mean, come on, yo, that yo, is, that it, is it a includes blessing. your breakfast and brunch. You will get fed that morning and that afternoon, not only spiritually but naturally. My Amen. Lord, my Lord, that is a great <laughs> blessing. And yes. now. I want to encourage people because, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we want things easy. You know, you got to press. You got to take a little drive. And that, and that's all it is. It's a little drive. But you got to press in to make sure you get all that God has for you. Am I right about that, Prophet? Yes, I agree with you on that. It is important that people realize that they need to press in and tune in. And this is their opportunity for God to do whatever they need, wherever the healing is needed, God is going to meet their need. Yes, yes. And Bishop, uh, you and Pastor Nolan, you know, you all are just so pivotal on the front lines. You guys are on the front lines. <laughs> We're fighting this thing. We are uh, 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 in outreach continuously. You're doing things. And I know that Pastor Lady Nolan is excited about this event as well, isn't she? She, she definitely is. And you know that she's always by my side. Unfortunately, she couldn't be with us today. But let me tell you something. While you all we're talking it was just down in my spirit I don't care what it is I got to do how far I got to drive if some deliverance is there if I know that God is going to do it then I'm going to make the sacrifice yes it might be an hour or two from you but baby let me tell you something if you're excited and you are hungry for that that you need you're going to do the, whatever you got to do to get there and make the sacrifice because I just believe and I know without a shadow of a doubt that God is going to do what he said he's going to do and sometimes you got to get out of your comfort zone and get out of your box of comfortability and allow yourself to stretch out on faith and allow for God to do what he does best. God is going to pull you out of the comfort zone to get you comfortable in the direction of him. Amen. My God, I feel that. Thank you. And, and I'm yeah. so serious about the thing. I have already booked my hotel for my yeah. stay there and I'm staying over until Sunday for your Sunday morning service because I know God is going to have a word even at that service, Bishop. I yeah. know he is. Yeah. And so, well, well, well well, well I, I just believe you're opening the door for many of them that are coming. I believe that once this thing lights up and, and gets in people that they ain't going to want to leave, they ain't going to want to uh, get out from around, you know, wherever Jesus went, left. And when he did what he had to do, people followed him. You know, they, they followed him because uh, he did miraculous things. And we're looking for a miraculous thing to take place. It has nothing to do with us. We're just being obedient, and God is going to do the work. We're just excited, and we love, we love the men and women of God. And this is why God has given us the opportunity for us to to lay the foundation in the areas God is God is coming back for a church without a spot or a wrinkle and, mm -hmm. and it's time for us as the men and women of God to get real about our, our hurt to get real about our, our wounds to get real about our, our, our issues and the areas that we struggle with and that we bring to church and we take back home so I'm looking I'm, I'm excited and I'm looking forward to the outcome of what God is doing for this weekend oh my goodness you said so much right there what you say coming <laughs> church one way and leaving out the same way. That's time on, out for that because there's a work to be done. Am I right? Come on. My God, my God, it is time. It is time. You know, I'm, I, we, we specialize in outreach, but it's time to reach in huh. and, 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 and get us delivered, get us healed, get us set free so that we can draw those and, and be the example that God is looking for us to be to draw 
man unto him. Yes, hallelujah. Now, now, Bishop, can you, can you come back with us next week? Because we need to, to, to talk about this thing all the way up into the deliverance conference. Is that all right? You, you have my word, woman of God. We will definitely be uh, uh, wherever we need to be to get this word out. Uh, if you're listening to us by way of, of airway and you're driving in your car and you just got in it from break or head at home, listen, it's not by chance you tuned in. God has got a specific healing, deliverance, blessing for you. I don't care if you've been struggling in your marriage. I don't care if you've been struggling in church. I don't care if you've been struggling with homosexuality. You've been struggling with uh, bisexuality, whatever it is. Whatever it is, man and woman of God, God has healing for you. Please allow yourself to get plugged in to where you know God is going to do something for you. Amen. Amen. Listeners, in closing, let me tell you, we're talking about the victim Two Victorious Deliverance Conference scheduled yes. for Friday and Saturday, June 3rd and 4th at the <laughs> Servants for Christ Outreach Ministries. For more information, Bishop, give us the number one more time for the phone number. The phone number is 618-565-5058. We have operators that are standing by. If you get a voicemail, just leave a message. Someone will give you a call back uh, promptly. And we are looking forward to praying with you over the phone, to getting you prepared and leading up to this day, this event, that God is going to meet us there and do what he does best. Amen. That's right. What he does best. Yes. Prof <laughs> Prophetess Alicia Tillman, thank you for being a part of the show with us this morning god bless you bless you and bishop as always you know we love you and first lady nolan we thank you so much for what you are doing and we're going to talk again next week sounds good we love you all god bless you god bless. all right friends we're going to take a short break right here go to my website of the cbc radio show.com for more information about the victim to victorious deliverance conference stay with me friends i'll be right back Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Hi, I'm Kim, owner of Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, and we're located in the Olivet area. Our mission is to offer people natural herbal alternatives for many common health conditions, such as chronic arthritis, hormonal imbalances, digestion issues, and more. We also offer other products to help you maintain your healthy temple, for example, detox kits and vitamin supplements. Come see us at 9634 Olive Boulevard or call us at 314-395-3767. Kim's Herbs and Detox Detox Center, helping you take care of your temple of health. Good morning, everybody. My name is Van Swat. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at W www.thewordatshaw.org. God bless. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. Friends, we are counting down the days to the upcoming First Lady of God, Pastors and Evangelists, Hat Showcase and Fashion Show Gala. That's going to be at the Jewel Box in Forest Park, Sunday, May 22nd. We're so blessed to have the founder of VL Production on the program this morning. And we're just going to talk about this exciting event. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show. Mrs. Veronica Logan, good morning. Good morning to you, Evangelist Thomas. You know, uh, every day is a great day, isn't it? Absolutely. So I'm just going to ask you, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes, this is the day the Lord has made. And you're rejoicing and you're glad in it? I am very glad in it. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, it doesn't matter if it's raining, if it's snowing. It, it, it doesn't matter what's going on as long as the S-O-N is shining. We all right, aren't we? 
Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, we're, we're counting down the days, and I just want you to just tell us about some of the exciting things that are going to go on at your gala on Sunday, May 22nd. Well, we're going to be dining about 6 o'clock, and we're going to be uh, catered by the pasta house. So they have some good food and good salad. They so do. we're going to feast off for that. Mm-hmm. And then after the fashion show, I mean, I'm sorry, after the dinner, we're going to um, be a, go through the awards program. Everyone who's getting honored that day, including yourself. Yes. Then we're going to start off with the fashion show. We have some um, fine women that have gone through the uh, era. And Alice Marie Couture Boutique is going to be one of the persons that's going to be starting off the fashion show. She makes her own clothes. So we're going to have her to start it off. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have some her style's coming in because it's also going to be a her showcase. Wow. And then Miss Phyllis Jones with the dress code boutique, she's going to end it with the grand finale. And as I had stated before, she has some very unique gowns for all sizes, even up to a 2 or 3X. So, and she has some kids clothing also. You're going to have a little bit of everything there, aren't you? Yes, we are. We're going to even have Avon, uh, Mary Kay, and then uh, Roxy Jones. She has her own luxury style of her. So she has a... Um, a website, her luxury, luxury, her direct, I'm sorry, is her website. So you can get more information when you call and I can give you her information if anybody interested in her, her. You know, let, let me just take a pause right there. I am very familiar with Miss Roxy and she does have some wonderful, wonderful uh, products and services. She really does. So I know that's going to be a treat. It will be a treat. Mm-hmm. And so tell us about, you know, uh, the, the foundation of this, uh, Veronica. Tell us, how did God really give you this vision um, to have this event? Well, basically, I always have a lot of fashion shows. And I just wanted to kind of step up another level. And I thought about all the women who serve God and how nice they look. So it would be kind of normal for them to come out and dress as they dress on Sundays and even during the week. Some of them just have some beautiful garments that they wear every day. Mm-hmm. And so I thought it'd just be nice to showcase some of them and their beauty. Yes, yes. Now, I know one thing that I think is really cool, because, you know, I love networking events. There is going to be a specific time that, you know, the folks are going to be able to mingle and see who's in the room, businesses, individuals, and all that, right? Yes, ma'am. That's going to be during the course of 6 to 7.30. So once we get through eating, we can kind of... Um, fellowship with each other mm-hmm. and also the vendors they can visit the vendors mm-hmm. and talk to them about their business and how they got started and anything else they want to buy from them or purchase they can see the vendors at that time from 6 to 7 30 because doing the show you just don't want to be talking to nobody basically because you're going to be so excited about seeing the hairstyles the head show and the fashion that's going on Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait for it. You know, one of the the things, one of the many gifts and talents that you have is event planning and event coordinating. So this is not a new thing for you to do. You do it uh, everywhere. Can you tell us about those services? Because there may be folks listening right now who may need to, uh, you know, call you about their upcoming events. Yeah, they can absolutely call me. Um, I don't really charge anyone whatever it feel like if it's a donation. And it may not be anything. I always make flyers for people. I make business cards for people, and just to help them out with their business. If I can give them a few pointers, I would do that, too. And sometimes I eat a model myself. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I have got a lot of fashion shows with Miss Phyllis Jones at the Jewel Box. And uh, she, like I said, she has gardens for everyone. So I have modeled a lot of her stuff. I believe you have. Now, this could also be a mother-daughter uh, affair where, you know, moms can bring their daughters or daughters can bring their moms. I mean, it's really uh, across the board, isn't it? Absolutely. And not only that, we're also going to be doing a lot of photo shooting. So if they purchase a package for $35 for the dinner, they get a free uh, 8x10, a photo shot to come in, and whoever they want to take it with, that's fine, too. So with the $35 package, they also get a free photo with that. Wow. Okay. Okay. You know, let's take a second. What phone number can folks get in contact uh, to get their tickets and to be involved? Okay. They can reach me at 314 537 Zero two three nine. Give it to me one more time. Three one four five three seven zero two three nine. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, are are vendors? Do you still have any room left for vendors? Right now, I have two. Two booths left. Okay. Two okay. booths left. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I would think that they need to call ASAP <laughs> to right. jump on those two booths. Absolutely, because I haven't confirmed those two yet. Some uh, one had interest of it, but they haven't actually confirmed it. So I'm still having it out there until they confirm it. 
Indeed, indeed. What do you want folks to know from your heart about this special event? Well, I just wanted them to know if they have anybody that they'd like to celebrate as far as a first lady, uh, get them in on the program so they can be celebrated and have a good time. Mm -hmm. And one thing that's very important about this event, I believe, it, it really is community as well because you're bringing different churches together. You're bringing different first ladies and those in the fivefold together, right? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, I tell you what, we can't wait for it. I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in, you are listening to Miss Veronica Logan of VL Production. She's promoting the First Lady of God, Pastors and Evangelists Hat Showcase and Fashion Show Gala. Now, that's coming up at the Jewel Box in Forest Park on Sunday, May 22nd at 6 p.m. We're just about out of time. Miss Veronica, is there anything else you'd like to say this morning? Yes, if anyone interested in and coming to the dinner, we would like for you to RSVP no later than May the 18th, which is this Wednesday coming up. Wonderful, wonderful, because I know those tickets are going to go fast, and you want to make sure that everybody can be accommodated. Well, I want to thank you again, Mrs. Veronica Logan of VL Production, for being a part of the program today. And thanks for having me, Evangelist Thomas. You're welcome. All right, friends, we'll take a break. I'll be right back. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vance Watt. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. Org. God bless. Good morning. This is Veronica Logan of VL Production. I would just like to invite everyone out to our show that's coming up on May the 22nd at the Jewel Box in Forest Park at 6 p.m. Anyone interested in coming to the dinner will be a $35 donation. Please come out and enjoy. For more tickets and information, please call 314-537-0239. And that's Miss Veronica Logan. Hi, I'm Kim, owner of Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, and we're located in the Olivet area. Our mission is to offer people natural herbal alternatives for many common health conditions, such as chronic arthritis, hormonal imbalances, digestion issues, and more. We also offer other products to help you maintain your healthy temple, for example, detox kits and vitamin supplements. Come see us at 9634 Olive Boulevard or call us at 314-395-3767. Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, helping you take care of your temple of health. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I was telling you at the top of the program that we are counting the days down to the upcoming You Are the Image of God conference hosted mm -hmm. by the Heirs of God, mm -hmm. Celebration City Ministries, and Bishop Prentice Thomas. So we have the man of God in the studio with us today. And I'm so excited he's here so he can give us more information about You Are the Image of God. Good morning. Good morning and welcome, Bishop. Good morning, Evangelist. It's so nice to see your lovely face on today. My God, on this wonderful day that God has made. It is. It's, yes, This yes. is the day that yes, the Lord is. has made, and we will uh -huh. rejoice and be glad in it. Absolutely. That's what we are to do, rejoice and to be glad in it. And, you know, um, in speaking in regards to the uh, Image of God Conference, our theme for this year is the same seed taking dominion, you know, and we have such awesome speakers yeah. for this conference. The conference starts May the 25th. That's Wednesday night mm -hmm. at 7 p.m. That's the kickoff night with none other than Prophet and Pastor uh, Mickles. My God, Marcus Mickles, yes. Prophet of God. He's going to be our speaker on Wednesday night at mm -hmm. 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to make this announcement before I go into talking about some other things about the image of God mm -hmm. is that all of the night services are free and open to the public. Wow, that is great, okay. Bishop. Okay, yes, all the night services. Now, the registration is $45, which include a brunch luncheon ticket and the uh, keynote speaker banquet ticket on Saturday. Okay, now, if, if people just want to come to a, uh, a luncheon, mm -hmm. we have two luncheons. Mm -hmm. One of them is Thursday from 11 to 1. The speaker 
is none other than Dr. Edna Lita Long of Christian Growth Center. And I'm a part also of her Bible college. Uh She's the keynote speaker for the luncheon Thursday from 11 to 1. Then we have another brunch, which is going to be on Friday, same time, 11 to 1. Uh And the speaker is Dr. Barbara Hamilton from Houston, Texas. Now, if you want to purchase an individual ticket for that, you, you can just pay at the door. That's $15 for, you know, for the individual sure, brunch sure. in the name of the Lord. And, um, and then on Thursday night, Thursday night at 7 p.m., uh, Dr. Barbara Hamilton and myself will be going for speaking and in the conference on uh, Thursday night. Now, on Friday, we have, um, you know, the workshops. We have workshops on Friday and Thursday during mm-hmm. the day, mm-hmm. 9 and 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Amen. Now, the speaker for the workshops on Friday is none other than Bishop Dr. Reynold Thomas. Oh my God, he's a, a PhD, THD, oh, Hallelujah, yes, International yes, International Bible College, and he will be the he will be the speaker. Okay, so now we have, uh, and then Friday night at mm-hmm. 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. is Dr. Uh, Stephen Hamilton of Houston, Texas. Mm-hmm. He's the keynote speaker for Friday night. Mm-hmm. Now on Saturday, oh my God, Uh-oh. Saturday we have workshops at 9 and 10 o'clock, and, and then, then we break for lunch. And at 1 o'clock now, 1 o'clock on Saturday, mm-hmm. Pastor and Prophet Shirley Johnson Ooh. will be the, the speaker. She'll be going forth. And then... We come back for that awesome, awesome banquet on Saturday evening with none other than Dr. Apostle Levi King Sr. of Bible Fellowship. My God. Wow. Amen. And that's at six o'clock. The banquet, the banquet is at six o'clock on that Saturday. And then we close out Sunday at four thirty with our uh with our uh, celebration and and the word in the name of Jesus. That's at four thirty. Now, but I want to speak to the people about um, my time of speaking. The sessions that I'm going to have Thursday and Friday at two p.m. Mm-hmm. At two p.m. I'll be doing special teaching about the basic doctrine of the image of God. Okay. You know because that's very important to know the doctrine of the image of God. Amen. And we'll be discussing things like identification, union with God, Elohim, uh, why why you must know the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. understanding the time of Reformation, understanding the history of the church, the moves of God, you know, and we'll be dealing with uh, uh, the blood co- covenant, humility, what is the inner man, what is the born again man, what it, what it means to have the nature of God in you. You know, all of these different things, I can't go over all of them right now, but I want the people to know that reformation has happened in the church. We are no longer in the 20th century. We're in the 21st century. So God is bringing things into a more accurate order. This conference is not just gathering people, giving a good word. This is purpose. This is mandate. This is where the body of Christ need to be now because you notice the thing, the same seed taking dominion. Galatians chapter 3 and uh, verse 29, Colossians 3 and 10, and 1 John 3 and 1. Mm-hmm. Amen. You need to understand that you are the image of God and what that image and what discovering that you are the image of God will do on the inside of you. It is time for us to walk in a new mentality. It's time for us to take dominion. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Because we're at the end time. And you, and you have to understand that Jesus prayed a prayer in St. Saint Saint John, excuse me, the 17th chapter. And he said, the glory which you've given me, I've given them. He said, he talked about us being one. Glory be to God. And something has happened to our spirit to make us one with him. And unless our mentality has is changing from a church mentality, from a Pentecostal mentality, from a word of faith mentality, to you are the image of God. You need to be at the state-of-the-art school, 4130 East Lexington. 
Washington, right off a of natural bridge and clay. For more information, you can call 314-239-0313. That's my wife's number, 314-239-0313. It is time for us to arise and to take dominion. My God, it's time for us to walk with God as the image of God, to know who we are, what we are, how we are to operate in the earth realm. You know, evangelists, there's so much uh, pain, suffering, so much demonic attacks, so much uh, uh, delusion and um, deception that's happening. It, the, the era of sonship is now, and it's time for, whoo, for the sons of God to be trained, amen, and anointed and going forth in the anointing of Jesus. You are the image of God, and this is so much, so much pain, so yes. much stuff going on, and, and it's not the government's responsibility. It is the church responsibility, my God, to be in position for the glory of God and the manifestation of God to happen, not not only here in St. Louis, but all over the United States and throughout the world, because it is his glory. It is the power of God that's going to cause things to happen in the change. I agree mm-hmm. with you, Bishop. You know, you've said so much and and, you know, the Lord has placed the uh, this particular conference on your heart. This is not mm-hmm. the first one. This is no. one of several conferences mm-hmm. that you've done on You Are Your Image, right? You, you are the image of God. And in the process of, uh, of completing the book, I'll be coming from some of the manuscript in regard. Oh, hallelujah. God is bringing he's bringing a, a change to our minds. There is a shifting that has to happen to our mind. We are no longer. Uh, uh, walking. Some people try to walk ahead of God. Some walk behind him. But now it's time to know how to walk with him and how to operate in that mentality. Really, we should be walking as father, son, father, daughter. Yes. Amen. I'm I'm talking about in power and in demonstration, not just in uh, having a mature teaching. No. We need faith in the power of God to be demonstrated through the people of God. No no longer just a superstar in the pulpit, a man doing something. No, you are the image of God, and it's time for you to take your rightful place and take dominion in the, oh, glory to God, in the earth realm. When you start he- receiving this word and learning this word and the revelation of who you are as the image of God, you're getting God's perspective of what he thinks about you and what he has done in you. Amen. Because being born again is more than just going to heaven, more than just my name is on the road. God, in his mind, he has something in mind more than just saving us and taking us to heaven. Glory be to God. And and it's time for us to rise. Do you know that it is time for the heir? And the heir is not a child when they come to that mature state in that mature time. Go ahead, Evangelist. I tell you, I'm just excited about what God is doing. (laughs) And it is time. It is time. I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in, we're talking this morning with Bishop Prentice Thomas, and we are truly getting ready for the You Are the Image of God conference. Now, look, friends, that mm-hmm. starts this Wednesday, mm-hmm. this coming Wednesday. It is through May 25th through May 29th. Yes. It is going to be held. All of the services, mm-hmm. workshops, everything is going to be held at mm-hmm. the State of the Art School located at 41. 130 East Lexington, zip code 63115. And let me tell you, the registration fee mm. uh, is, is so minimal for all that is being included. But mm. the 7 p.m. nightly services are free. You mm. don't want to miss the workshops, the banquets that are involved. Yeah. And let me give you the phone number to call, which is 314 314- Two six one four three four eight. That's three one four two six one four three four eight. Our speakers include uh, Pastor Marcus Mickles on Wednesday night, kicking it off. On Thursday night, it's going to be Dr. Barbara Hamilton. You don't want to miss the luncheon on Thursday between eleven and one. Then on Friday, we're also going to have workshops, and it's going to be conducted by uh, uh, Bishop Reynolds Thomas. Mm-hmm. And then uh, also the nightly service you don't want to miss and then 
Bishop, you're going to be speaking on what day again? Well, I have uh, special teaching sessions at 2 o'clock on Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And then Friday night, oh my goodness, Mm -hmm. it's going to be Bishop Stephen Hamilton. You don't want to miss him. There's Mm -hmm. a banquet also on Saturday. Well, Mm -hmm. let me back up because we don't want to leave out Pastor Shirley Johnson. Now, when is she going to be teaching? Uh, Saturday at 1 o'clock. Saturday at at 1 o'clock. Pastor Mm -hmm. Prophetess, great woman of God. And then and that evening, the 6 p.m. Yes. banquet, where none other than mm-hmm. Dr. Levi King Sr. is mm-hmm. going to be there mm-hmm. bringing the word. And mm-hmm. then you're going to bring it all together yes. on Sunday for mm-hmm. Explosive End at 4.30 mm-hmm. for the banquet and the service. My goodness, Bishop, that's a lot. I had to take a breath. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And I also want to say this, that if people are Googling the address to the school, Google's going to send you somewhere else. So you need to call or if you're listening and you know where Natural Bridge and Grand is, go up na- go up Natural Bridge till you reach Clay, make that turn. Lexington is right there. Our services are held in the Red School Brick Building, State of the Art School. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. This Hallelujah. is going to change your life and it's going to take a man, uh, your, uh, y- your positioning with God to a, to a more deeper and fulfilling level in the name of Jesus. They cannot miss this. Amen. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. I'm going to give you the phone number one more time as we're out of time. But the phone number to call to get information to get your ticket is 314-261-4348. This week, counting down the days, Wednesday Mm -hmm. kicks off May 25th through the 29th. You are the image of God Conference. Bless you, Bishop Prentice Thomas, for being a part of the program. Yes. God is going to do some great things. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. This is the time. Thank you, sir. All Mm -hmm. right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'm going to see you at the You Are the Image of God Conference. I'll be right back. Good morning and welcome back to another Dr. Tebow's Cairo Healthy Living Tip. Today's topic will be arthritis. Arthritis is a joint disease that causes swelling and pain that can range from mild to excruciating. The symptoms include morning stiffness, painful swollen joints, restricted range of motion, and weakness. So what can you do to help maintain and relieve this discomfort? Well, take a listen because I have some tips for you. Number one, avoid inflammatory foods, red meats, egg, saturated fats, fried foods, sugar, and dairy. This will help keep your system under control by avoiding these foods. Number two, incorporating beneficial anti-inflammatory supplements. MSM and bromelain are great in helping the cartilage and decreasing inflammatory responses from occurring. Number three, aromatherapy. Lavender, peppermint, and eucalyptus are great in helping inflammation and blood flow to the joints. Number four, chiropractic. Chiropractic care is uniquely suited to aid in the treatment of arthritis. We help keep your system functioning properly while reducing the pain and stiffness that you encounter. Remember, your health is very important and your spine is too. Start now getting adjusted because it can make a big difference for you. You can reach me at 636 336-8049, 636-336-8049. 336-8049, 636-336-8049, or you can follow me on Instagram at The Pocket Doctor or Facebook at Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you about the buzz around town on the new opening, the grand opening of Kim's Herb and Detox Center. I'm so excited about this woman because the vision that God has given her, it's just not being done right here in St. Louis the way she's doing it. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show this morning, Miss Kimberly Ward. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am. I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. Good. Now, you know, I didn't prep you on this question. Okay. But this is a question I ask everybody before we start the show on the program. Okay. And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Absolutely. Are you rejoicing? Yes, I am. Are you glad in it? Very glad. (laughs) (laughs) Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I know you're glad. I know you're just so excited about this business. I know the Lord has given you a great vision for Kim's Herb and Detox Center. So tell us about how did God give you the vision for this? Yeah, I think it actually began when I was in college. Um, I just had this sense of wanting to be healthy 
and had no idea what I was doing. I just started <laughs> eating nuts and seeds and raisins, and I just had no clue. <laughs> and then after that, um, I started be- getting involved with like multi-level marketing um, mm-hmm. in the area and um, selling a lot of natural herbal products. Mm-hmm. That was kind of my introduction to it um, before where I am now. Mm-hmm. And then after that, um, I started an online herbal store called Kimberly's Herb Shop. Mm-hmm. And it was basically um, a way for me to sell products, but it was a low risk. It was a very low risk way to do this. And I believe God wanted me to step out all the way and do a store. So I was trying to do it the safe way. And of course, it didn't really kick off the way I wanted to. Mm-hmm. So then mm-hmm. I just turned 50 and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do what God has for me. So I just stepped out and I'm opening up an herbal store and it's opening up this weekend. Well, you know what? Let, let me just go back about three sentences. Uh, <laughs> uh, my listeners, when she said that she just turned 50, I want to be a witness. You can't see her, but I'm going to be a witness to say she looks nowhere near 50. OK. <laughs> Thank you. And there's such a glow in your skin, such a glow in your skin. Thank oh, does you. that have anything to do with the herbs and the detox? I wonder. Yeah. I mean, I try to eat healthy and mm-hmm. I'm into my I mean, everything I sell. I basically use myself, you know, so I want to sell something that I believe in Mm -hmm. and that I know that works. Well, I want to tell folks that I recently toured uh, your beautiful, beautiful center. And one of the things that stood out to me that I have got to get my feet in is this foot Ionic foot bath. Ionic foot bath. Tell the listeners about that. That's great. Yeah, basically... um, the machine causes ionic activity in the water, mm-hmm. and it just pulls out toxins from your feet. Mm-hmm. And um, I've done a couple of customers already, and they've just been, like, amazed at what it's done. Wow. Um, someone I just did recently had joint issues, and then the water was orange, which indicates joints, mm-hmm. you know, detoxing from the joints. Mm-hmm. So. It's just, it's amazing. So I'm really happy to be able to help people. Let me tell you, St. Louis, if you better hurry up and get in because it's going to be a line around the corner. And uh, that's just a taste of what you can provide in the services at your center. Tell us right. about more. Yeah, um, I also have a bio mat. It's basically an infrared mat and it detoxes from the inside mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. And eventually I want to add more machines and more tools to my to my store, like mm-hmm. a um, infrared sauna mm-hmm. and more like that. So mm-hmm. it's really all about detoxing and getting the environmental toxins out of your body because mm-hmm. um, we're just um, exposed to a lot of that stuff yes. on a daily basis and yes. our food and the air everywhere at work. Yes. <laughs> so it's good to, pro- to do a detox on a regular basis. And, you know, I think most people want to do something different. They're trying to do something different to eat better, to just be more aware of what's around them. Don't you think? I think so. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. People are really more focused on their health right now and doing natural alternatives. So mm-hmm. coming to my store, I do offer a lot of a lot of that stuff. So. Yes, yes. Now, you, I think you're conveniently located because I think everybody knows the area that you're in. And as big as the marquee is, uh, we could not miss Kim's Urban Detox Center. Okay, awesome. We could not miss it. But <laughs> give us the address and phone number to where you're located. Um, It's 9634 Olive. Um, in the Olivet area, and the phone number is 314-395-3767. Give it to us one more time, would you? Um, 9634 Olive Boulevard, Olivet, Missouri, and the phone number is 314-395-3767. Wonderful. Let me ask you real quick. You know, we have organizations and we have churches that are uh, a very big part of the CBC radio show. Are you able to go into locations, organizations, churches? ministries and talk about the products or services that you have perhaps to a workshop and just talk about the importance of uh, being healthy can you do that absolutely if they can just contact me with you know at that number mm-hmm. i can look at my schedule and i I would be happy to do something like that, actually. Yes, yes. I, I really think it's needed. In fact, um, you know, we often do the healthy living tip here. Do you think I can get you to give us a healthy living tip? Just maybe a couple that, you know, just some basic things that would help to make folks feel better and enhance their quality of life. You want one now? Yeah. Okay. I know you got one off the top <laughs> of your head. Um, I would probably say if you have any yeast issues mm-hmm. or candida, mm-hmm. you know, just really watch eating carbs that are white, mm-hmm. like white bread, white potatoes and all that. 
That'll help yeah, you kind of reduce like. okay. yes, sugar and all that. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a good one because many people, yeah, yeah, we have succumbed to that. And so, um, but I tell you what, I'm going to have you come back on another time and give us a, an official uh, Kim's Urban Detox Healthy Living Tip. Is that all right? That sounds good to me. That sounds good. Now, we're, we're, we're just about out of time. Is there anything else that you would like to say this morning? Um, I just look forward to people coming into the store and um, I am there to help you with your health issues and give you advice and go from there. All right. Give us that address and phone number one more time. It's 9634 Olive Boulevard in Olivet, Missouri. And the phone number is 314-395-3767. Wonderful. I'm so excited about the things that God is going to have you do and how you're going to be a blessing to the community. Thank you so much, Miss Kimberly Ward of Kim's <laughs> Herb and Detox Center. Thank you so much for having me. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the the glory. Good morning, everybody. My name is Van Swat. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. God bless. Friends, haven't we had a great time, a great time this morning? I just give God the glory and the honor and the praise. He sends such wonderful, wonderful guests to the CBC radio show, and he sends the most wonderful listeners, too. Thank you for tuning in. I want to say this morning that we had a great time talking with Bishop Lawrence Nolan and Prophetess Alicia Tillman of Servants for Christ Outreach Ministries. Now, you don't want to miss the upcoming Victim to Victorious Conference. You don't want to miss the upcoming Victim to Victorious Deliverance Conference on Friday and Saturday, June 3rd and 4th. Oh my goodness, go to the website to get more information, thecbcradioshow.com and Bishop Nolan is going to be with us next week talking with us again about the Victim to Victorious Deliverance Conference. We had a wonderful time this morning talking with, of course, Veronica Logan of VL Production. Tonight, my friends, tonight, this evening, will be the First Lady of God, Pastors and Evangelists Hat Showcase and Fashion Show Gala at the Jewel Box in Forest Park. You still have time for your tickets. You can get them at the door. Now, that's going to start at 6 p.m. right there at the Jewel Box in Forest Park, and we're going to have a great time. I'll be receiving an award and it would be wonderful to have you there with me. We're going to have a great time. Now you can give her a call last minute. You can give her a call for last minute reservations at 314-537-0239. 314-537-0239. And then of course I always want to thank our dear friend of the Christian Business Connection, Bishop Prentice Thomas. This week, starting this Wednesday, You are the Image of God Conference. It's going to be Wednesday through the 29th. Friends, you don't want to miss it. Oh, my goodness. The speakers that are going to be there kicking it off on Wednesday night with Pastor Marcus Mickles. And then they're going to go all through the week. I can't list everybody. You heard it. But we're going to have a great time at the Heirs of God Celebration City Ministries. You are the Image of God Conference. Thank you so much to Miss Kimberly Ward of Kim's Urban Detox Center. Great work. She's doing a new business over right there in Olivet. And if you haven't been there yet, you got to go. So much to uh, experience at Kim's Urban Detox. She has some great, great holistic products and services that she wants to provide for you. So all of the information about my guests will be on my website. 
the CBC radio show.com. I want to encourage you if you have a business or a ministry or an upcoming event, you need to be on the show. You need to be here with me talking about what God is doing with you. Also, friends, go to the website because you'll see the airings of the new Christian Business Connection TV show. Now, if you'd like to be a part of the TV show for the Christian Business Connection, well, you want to give me a call at 314-270-2225. I'm so excited about this project because it also includes my co-host, my son, Sean Scooter Thomas. So you want to make sure you get all that information, the airings, when it's coming on, what station, all that good stuff i'm making you go to the website all right so you can check it out thank you for listening to the cbc radio show today you know what i always say in closing to god be the glory christian business connection connecting your business or ministry to the world